Welcome back to Ant's Boxing Channel. I want to take a quick moment to talk about Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is going through a lot of stuff right now. Ryan Garcia is doing a lot of crazy stuff right now. Ryan Garcia came out and went on a Twitter rant, babbling about a bunch of stuff. You know, some stuff that was very sensitive, and if that stuff is true, my heart goes out to Ryan Garcia. There's nothing, that's nothing to, to, to play about and laugh or joke about. You know, the stuff he said that happened to him when he was two years old. Um... I hate it. That's nasty. You know, that's just like, that's despicable. The people who would do stuff like that to a two-year-old, you, 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 you deserve to burn in the inferno. If you know what I mean, that's like, that's like, bro, come on, son. That's, that's, that's wild. You know what I mean? Anyways, nevertheless, Ryan Garcia, to a lot of people, Ryan Garcia is looking like a maniac. They're painting Ryan Garcia as he lost his mind. He's on that. He's on that. Ryan Garcia is bugging out. He's crazy. He's lost his mind. He's having another mental breakdown, right? And I want to introduce an idea to you guys. That could be true. That could be very true. Maybe Ryan Garcia has lost his mind. Maybe Ryan Garcia is on drugs. Maybe Ryan Garcia is a drunk. Maybe Ryan Garcia is just losing it. You know what I mean? But there's two other things that could be transpiring. Maybe Ryan Garcia is just trying to sell the hell out of this fight. Maybe Ryan Garcia is just trying to sell the fight and he's pulling out every trick in the book and he's taking it to different extents to try to make people tune into it. And if he's doing so, he's succeeding. Because for the past week, all we're talking about is Ryan Garcia. You know what I mean? And Devin Haney. With the, with the leaked footage coming out of Devin Haney versus Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia got the internet on fire. On fire. Talking about Ryan Garcia, talking about Devin Haney. Whether you're saying Ryan Garcia is on coke, whether you're saying Ryan Garcia is a drunk, whether you're talking about Ryan, um, Devin Haney getting the bejesus beat out of him by Javante Davis. Know what I mean? But he got the internet on fire. But I'm going to introduce something else to y'all. I'm going to get a little um, conspiracy based with it, right? We've seen time and time again in the celebrity world, this ugly world of Hollywood, we've seen where people get introduced to the nasty side of Hollywood and they start losing their minds and talking crazy. Look at Orlando Brown. Look at look at Cat Williams. Look at um look at um um so many of them. Top of my head I can't even name more of them right now. So many Dave Chappelle, you know what I mean? They might not have acted as crazy with the exception of Orlando Brown <laughs> cuz you know, that brother be on some other stuff too, you feel me? But what I'm getting at is Hollywood is a very ugly, nasty thing. Being a celebrity, it, you get introduced to stuff. You, you heard about the P. Diddy parties. That's why that's why Ryan was making fun of Devin Haney, partying with Diddy. You know what I mean? Look up into the conspiracies of Hollywood and how nasty it is. The rituals, the nasty stuff that happens behind closed doors. <clears throat> right? Now, every time you have an artist or a celebrity, somebody like a Ryan Garcia... That gets exposed to the true ugly colors of Hollywood and that celebrity lifestyle. Kanye West, another one. They begin to behave erratic. They begin to start talking crazy because the things that they see with their eyeballs, they can't handle it. A lot of them turn to drugs. And even if they don't turn to drugs, a lot of them just start talking stuff that makes them sound crazy and look crazy. And the media always has a way of... Making you believe that they're just crazy when a lot of them, they know what they're talking about. They've seen some wicked stuff and they just want to expose it, but they're scared to expose it because they know too much. And these people that they know too much about is dangerous people. When you talk about the powers that be, that's what we're talking about. The powers that be, Illuminati, the Bohemian, all that stuff that Ryan Garcia is talking about. So I just want to say don't count that out because yeah, Ryan Garcia, like I said, could be on crack. He could be on a whole bunch of stuff. But Ryan Garcia might very well also be telling the truth about all this crazy stuff that he's talking about. Don't count it out. You know what I mean? <clears throat> we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. It's the truth. But all I'm saying is look at the history of celebrities that have spoken like this and behaved like this. Talking on the same exact concept. You know what I mean? When they say that they've seen too much. When they say that they've seen things that, that, that people shouldn't see. When they talk about all these disgusting things in Hollywood. All I'm saying is that we can't act like this hasn't happened over and over again. And like the media doesn't portray people as crazy over and over again. You feel me? So, give Ryan Garcia the benefit of the doubt. 
And instead of judging him so hard, let's pray for him. And let's just hope that he could get it together. So that we can get this fight. Because who doesn't want to see Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney? That's what it's about, right? So, peace and blessings. My heart goes out to him for whatever he's been through and is going through right now. But I hope that he could get it together and keep this fight alive. Because I need this fight. I need Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney April 20th. We need that. But listen, guys, that's it for Ann's Boxing Channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe so you can catch more content coming out. Tomorrow's Tuesday. On Tuesdays, I do my episode of Your Ring, Your Rules. Your Ring, Your Rules. It's alive. You come through, bring your topics to conversation. We talk about it. We discuss it. We go all out. All right? But that's it for this episode. I'm out.